Hello and welcome back once again to my channel. Now this time we're going back through Premier League predictions. We did it midweek, I think we did a bit worse than usual. We're going to go through them again though. Can we get 15 likes in this video? You guys have been smashing it lately, can't thank you enough. Can we get a couple more subscribers from it as well? I hope so. If you are new, don't forget, down below it's free, click the subscribe button, it means a lot to me. Not necessarily need to have notifications on, but it's good if you do. We're going to go through now though, we'll talk about last week. Now last week we didn't do brilliantly. There were two points separating each of us individually. Lewis led the way on seven points last week. I think he got two correct results, or he got one correct result and four correct fixtures, how they turned out. I then came in in second on five points and Dad came last on third, so that'll be on the bottom of the screen now. That leaves our table looking a bit closer. I'm on 63 points in the lead, but Lewis has closed the gap by two to 53 points now, a 10 point gap. Dad does still sit in last though, Lewis regaining that second position off of him. Dad now four points behind Lewis on 49 points. Dad's going to be hoping he can catch that gap, close it again. Lewis hoping he can close it on me. We'll go on though, and Burnley host Arsenal at Turf Moor in the first game of the weekend. Now Arsenal are in decent form, Burnley not so much. Turf Moor is normally a formidable place to go. I think we've all gone for the same result. We've all gone for an Arsenal win. Me and Lewis agreeing, saying it'll be 2-1 to Arsenal. However, Dad has gone for a 2-0 win to Arsenal. Move on now to the team that managed to get only their third win of the season, or their second win of the season, in midweek. That's Sheffield United, who host Southampton. Now, Sheffield United, they're on 14 points this season, so it might have been their third win. They are on 11 before midweek. They faced Aston Villa and beat them at home. Now they've got they've got another home game here. Southampton travel to them. Southampton in one of the worst forms in the league. Sheffield United will be hoping they can capitalise on that and get another three points. I don't think they'll be able to win though, but I do think they'll be able to hold they'll be able to get something. Me and Lewis have agreed again, and we've gone both saying for a one one draw. Dad, however, thinks Southampton will be able to do enough and he thinks it'll be two one to them. We move on now though, Aston Villa, the side that Sheffield United did beat midweek, face Wolverhampton Wanderers at home in what is technically a derby, it's, they're both from Birmingham, even though Wolves are not necessarily in the city, but anyway, they're both from the Birmingham postcode. We move on now though and we just talk about it a bit more. Now, Villa doing well, Wolves doing worse than they should be, I think it'll still be quite a tight game between the two sides, however, I do think one side will edge it. Me and Lewis have agreed yet again. I think this is getting to a new record. We've agreeing we've done too much here. We've both said 2-1 to Villa. Dad hasn't agreed though. Dad has gone... He doesn't think there is anything to split sides. He's gone two goals to two. Move on to the fourth game of the weekend now though, which sees relatively high-flying Leicester travel to Brighton and Hove Albion. Now Leicester, they haven't been doing too well recently. I think they did lose last weekend. They they need to bounce back. I think they're, they're a very good side. They got knocked out of Europe though, so they'll be hoping they can do something in the Premier League, put them back in the Champions League where they probably do belong by playing the football they play. But this Brighton side won't be easy to beat necessarily. They're not, I'm not saying they'll be difficult to beat because you know Brighton they're not doing brilliantly, but every team's there to be to to be fought against. You can't just get three points easily. As a result, I've gone for a two one Leicester win. Dad has gone. Uh, Dad has gone 2-0 and Lewis has gone 1-0. We all think Leicester will win, but not necessarily by too many. We move on now, though, and there's some big news coming out of this game, or particularly one of the clubs. Now, that's Newcastle United, who travelled down to West Bromwich Albion in Birmingham. Now, the news was that Newcastle's takeover could be back on the cards. I think Newcastle have appealed the decision to, to kind of overrule it, and I think it's getting some traction, and it could actually go, go ahead. Now, for a club of Newcastle size, they don't deserve to be in relegation battles. They are massive. And when I say massive, they're probably top 10. But I don't want people to come in my comments saying, oh, no, something the bigger. Oh, no, this, this, that, and the other. I think Newcastle are bigger. I think Newcastle are one of the biggest clubs in England. Yes, they've never won the first division or the Premier League, or they might have done, but they're normally coming second back in the day. They would chase United to the final day and just lose out, or chase Arsenal, but just lose out. They would be in Europe. But anyway, we're going to talk about the game more. Nowadays, there's not much to split these two sides. I think they're literally one place away from each other in the league, in one in the relegation zone being West Bromwich Albion. I don't think there's anything to split them whatsoever. I think it'll be a boring game. I think it'll be nil-nil. Lewis has gone for a 1-1 and Dad has gone for a 2-1 Newcastle away win. Once again, it could happen. Now we move on to the team that have lost four games in a row at Anfield. It might even be five. That's Liverpool who host Fulham. Now, Fulham wrongfully got a goal disallowed the other day against Tottenham, which should have been their equaliser, which would have been massive for them in their relegation battle. But VAR decided to overturn it. Now, I'm not going to get started on VAR. It's stupid. 
So if it worked, the World Cup, it works properly. I don't know why in the Premier League they seem to just be making up it, making it up as they go along. His hand was by his side. What's he meant to do? Is he meant to take his hand off and do this or something? Like it's there. That's where his hand belongs. He hasn't put his hand out and pushed it. It's going to hit his body anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. But I'm going to get too annoyed. Fulham will be disheartened by that, but I think they'll know they're good enough. I think Liverpool will still win, though, even though they did lose to Chelsea at home midweek. I think they'll win two goals to one. Lewis, however, thinks Fulham will be able to grab three points at Anfield. He thinks 2-1, and Dad thinks two goals to two. So one of us is getting a point at least from that one. Now we move on to the biggest game of the weekend. And when I say the biggest, I mean it is massive. Not just for the kind of race for the Premier League title, but for the calibre of game it is. That is Manchester City, who host Manchester United at the Etihad. Now, this game is be between the so-called noisy neighbours back in the day against the so-called old guns. Now, <laughs> Manchester City, they're better nowadays. They never used to be. United are the biggest club in England. People will probably say, no, they're not. You're not the biggest club in England. Look at what they are now. They are the biggest club in England. I don't care what anyone says. They are. They've Before Alex Ferguson left, they'd won half of all Premier League titles. Well, actually won. So, that says, it, says all, it, all it needs to. I think United will be able to end City's 21-game winning run because it has to come to an end eventually. Someone's going to have to end it. And knowing, knowing English football, someone like Burnley will end it. But I think United will put up a very good fight. City, yeah, they may beat them. But I don't think there's anything to say United won't be able to get something. So I think it'll be a 2-2 draw. Lewis, he thinks City will win. He thinks 2-1. And Dad also does. He's got three goals in the game, but he's going for a 3-0. We move on now, though, to the third last game of the weekend. That sees another London derby for Tottenham. Tottenham this time hosting Crystal Palace. They went to Fulham last time, obviously, as I talked about. Got a lucky win, to say the least. They now have Crystal Palace at home, hoping they can get another three points. I think they'll be able to get them. I'm not saying they'll be able to get them relatively easily, but I think, judging off of how Tottenham have been this season, Palace have been this season, there is a bit of a gap between them. Jose hasn't got what he wanted in terms of Premier League title, Champions League football. But it's not off the cards. I think it'll be 3-1 to Tottenham. Lewis has gone 1-0 and Dad has gone for two goals to nil. Once again, it could all happen. Move on to the penultimate game now, though, which is another massive game on Monday night. This is Chelsea at Stamford Bridge hosting Everton. Now, both sides won 1-0 away in midweek. Both sides are chasing down Champions League slash Europa League. They want one of them. As a result, this is going to be a very, very tight game between the two sides. I can't personally find much to split them. I can find little pieces to split them in terms of different areas of their game. But I think Thomas Tuchel's men will just be a bit better. I think it'll be 1-0 to Chelsea. Lewis has gone for a 2-2 draw and Dad has gone for a 2-0 Chelsea win. None of us thinking Everton can get a win there. Now the last game of the week sees, once again, I say this every week about them, but they're high-flying against a team that haven't under, underachieved. They've just kind of done what people expect them to do practically. That's West Ham versus Leeds. Now, Leeds came up, everyone said, I don't think they're in danger of relegation, really. I think, yes, they're not necessarily going to smash the league, but they're not going to be relegation. They've done exactly what they needed to do, mid-table, mediocrity. It's exactly what they wanted. West Ham, on the other hand, they were in a relegation battle last season, kind of. This season, they're fighting for Champions League football. Well, I'm not even saying European football. They're going for the Champions League. They win on Monday and a couple of teams drop points. They're fourth. They are fourth if they win it. I think they're currently, if they win their game in hand, they're fourth as well. So it's going to be big for them. I think West Ham will be better than Leeds. I think 2-1. Dad has gone 1, sorry, Lewis has gone 1-0. And Dad has agreed with me and he's gone 2-1 as well. But that is where the predictions end because there aren't any more fixtures. I'm not going to start predicting the rest of the season now. But thank you for watching if you have got to this point. Leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll see you in the preview of Pompey's latest fixture tomorrow.